Good morning. It's Thursday, March 3rd, and you're looking at a live view of the Falcon 9, awaiting its 9.25 a.m. Eastern Time launch from Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. Now, you may have heard that Starlink has been activated in Ukraine to help with the Internet access in that country. A few days ago, the Ukrainian government confirmed the Starlink kits had arrived, and we're told that they're already in use. We couldn't be more proud of all the teams that jumped in to make this effort happen along with the many individuals locally who supported. Thank you, and we hope it helps. Today's first stage is flying for its 11th time, previously having supported the GPS-3-3 mission, the Turksat 5A mission, Transporter 2, and seven previous Starlink missions. Let's watch the final seconds here of terminal count as Falcon 9 takes the 47 Starlinks to lower the orbit. minus 15 seconds. shortly here fairing deployment as well and second engine stage startup fairing separation confirmed so there on the right hand side of your screen those starling satellites seeing space for the first time there's a shot of the merlin vacuum you can actually see the fairing halves uh, heading back to planet earth and on the left hand side of your screen you can see the first stage deploying its grid fins both vehicles follow nominal trajectories. Just a quick note on the fairing halves today. Um, one of those is flying for its third time. The other is flying for its fourth. And we will be attempting to recover both halves today using our recovery vessel named Bob. Now stage two is continuing to its target orbit. The first stage, which you can see on your left-hand side, has a couple of burns to make before it can make its way back to planet Earth. First of those is the entry burn. It'll ignite three of its Merlin 1D engines to slow down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. 
and then the second burn happens much closer to touchdown on that first stage. It'll ignite just its single center Merlin engine for the landing burn. And that's what brings the vehicle speed rapidly down to zero so we can have a soft touchdown on the drone ship. Right hand side of your screen, you can see the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage with some beautiful Light shots of, signal of Earth behind us. Glowing uh, that, that orange color. The second stage engine will continue to burn until about T plus eight minutes. So it's uh, got a few minutes to go here. If you're just joining us, we had successful liftoff of the Falcon 9 at 9.25 a.m. Eastern Time from the Kennedy Space Center, Space Launch Complex 39A. On the left-hand side of your screen is a live view of the first stage with its grid fins extended, preparing for its next major event, which is the entry burn. It's making its way to a drone ship stationed in the Atlantic named Just Read the Instructions targeting its 11th landing. On the right-hand side of your screen is the second stage carrying 47 Starlink satellites into an intended uh, drop-off orbit. Now those uh, Merlin engines on these stages, uh, on the first stage are actually optimized for sea level. They achieve about 190,000 pounds of thrust during ascent. So during this portion of the mission and now for descent, a similar amount of thrust. The Merlin vacuum engine is optimized for 220,500 pounds of thrust, and that's because the nozzle is significantly larger, allowing us to get more force out of the gases from combustion.